Procurement can be broadly separated into three parts. Firstly, category management, i.e. what are you going to spend and how are you going to spend it? Then a category manager would hand off to a sourcing team where they would set up a supply to be handed off to a supplier relationship management team who will make sure a supplier maintains key performance indicators as per the quality and supply agreements. In smaller companies, one person could be all three roles. However, no matter the size of the company, you will work cross-departmentally with finance, IT, supply chain, quality control and assurance, project management, material science and numerous more. The procurement manager may also be involved in the strategic sourcing aspect of the business, depending on their specific area of management. Of note, there is a difference between a purchasing manager and a procurement manager. The former would place a purchase order based on a contract set up by the latter. Both work closely in tandem. So procurement as a department guides the purchasing process, i.e. putting the research into what we will need to complete a campaign and how to get it for the right price. With that said, procurement is not the same as purchasing. Procurement are given the freedom to engage with suppliers to set up contracts and make deals, while typically someone more junior will action the transaction or purchase of those deals. All of the aforementioned tasks and concerns are applicable to two areas of procurement, which are direct and indirect. Direct procurement is spending on services, goods and materials that drive profit, performance and competitive advantage, whereas indirect procurement is expenditure on the maintenance, goods and services needed for the day-to-day operations, which do not directly contribute to the company's bottom line, i.e. direct procurement could be the likes of raw materials going into a drug or the consumables and disposables going into that drug. So before discussing the career path, it's important to cover the scope of the procurement quality arena. There is a delicate balance act between strategic relationships with vendors and suppliers, and this is most evident in the events where things go wrong, such as raising quality, deviations, quality events, and managing the plaint management system. So if, for example, 30 tonnes of one of your raw ingredients has insects in it, that's where the quality aspect of procurement steps in and does a risk assessment, does a deviation assessment, does an effectiveness check and will do their root cause analysis and have a corrective and preventative action put in place. So the career path is very simple. You will either chance your arm at getting an internship after university or during university as a placement in a procurement department, preferably in a household named company like Pfizer or Coca-Cola or Google, etc. Failing that, you can try a specific degree in procurement or supply chain and apply from there. Failing that, you can either apply outside your target area and look for supply chain or logistics positions and transition across to procurement, gaining experience along the way. If this also doesn't work, try applying abroad or in a different country or province or county. And let's assume that you did the above and you got in. You are now an intern, the bottom rung of the ladder, and want a permanent job. Or you're a contractor with no security after a month and can be thrown into the wind. The next thing you need to do is to get along with the team, be personable and interactive. But if you're virtual, you can't be pushy or try hard and you have to avoid stepping on toes all going well. When your contractor placement comes to an end, you will have your eye already on a permanent or contract position slightly higher than your current post. So we want you to grab a specialist position or a junior associate position or even a junior analyst position. This is an extremely solid foundation to start from and you have many options to pursue based on the information from the start of this video. Basically, you can root your goals based on team dynamics, i.e. people leaving for you to backfill into their places, or your interest and personal career progression desires. Sorry, I couldn't think of a less romantic word other than desire there. So just really wanting to work in the quality arena. Now, don't worry, we will talk about salaries shortly. I just want you to realise the struggles it might take in a modern application environment. 
So check out my playlist on how to get a job after academia for more thrills. So once you're a specialist after some decent good luck and hard work or sheer years built up of experience, you can progress into a senior specialist in procurement. This typically is a salary increase and you will have to choose indirect or direct procurement. You'll have to choose working in quality or on the buyer side of the job, or you'll have to decide if you want to be in the relationship management arena or the sourcing manager or in category management. Best is to get the toe in as much as possible to see what you like and what you're good at. Excel skills, Outlook skills and PowerPoint skills are something you can brush up on today that will help. After a senior specialist, you can progress to a manager. Typically, this means you are either permanent or you will have a team working for you. You may have to be a senior manager to have direct reports. However, the jump from senior specialist to manager may be a chasm in some industries. One option to get a promotion is always jumping company if you hit a plateau. So from senior manager, the next steps are associate director, director, senior director, executive director, associate vice president, vice president, senior vice president, executive vice president, and then the mother queen bee, chief executive in procurement before CEO. With all that said, let's check out the salaries of each step along the way and subscribe if you want me to make more procurement videos. I am at the manager stage right now and if you want me to share my insights along the way, please do hit that subscribe button. So firstly, an intern will typically make between 32,500 and 55,000 euros in Ireland, depending on the company, and 29,250 to 37,500 US dollars annually. A specialist will make between 35,000 and 75,000 euros in Dublin and actually the same in the US. A senior specialist will make between 55,000 and 85,000 euros in Ireland. The median is probably around 65,000 euros. And a senior specialist will make between 66,500 and 107,250 US dollars in the USA with a median of 79,500. Now, some companies use manager and senior specialist interchangeably for procurement functions, so the salaries are quite aligned. The important distinction is that once you've moved from a specialist to a manager, your ladder starts from scratch and a new checkpoint opens up. Most people stay as senior specialists for their career and never try to progress to manager. Reasons could be that they enjoy the job that they're doing and don't want to manage people, which is a completely different function. But that's one of the reasons I can think of. So that, so that is where my YouTube series will hopefully try to achieve a clear step by step, a clear step by step in climbing from here. However, a senior manager in Ireland will make up to one hundred and fourteen thousand euros and up to one hundred thirty five thousand US dollars in the USA. Obviously, more in the likes of California. An associate director in procurement is where the salary scale begins to skew towards years of experience, the company that you're in, previous salary package and bonus, amount of times you've moved your job, and I'm sure someone will mention gender in the comments, and you can expect anything between 85,000 and 145,000 euros, and up to 175,000 US dollars in America. Bump up to director after five or so years of experience, and you can expect up to $225,000 in the USA, with perhaps even a bonus of 100% of your salary. Any position above this is purely speculative and assessed on a case-by-case -case basis, and their impact and input into the company and their personal contributions to date and projected. There are currently, as of February 2022, 137,000 jobs on LinkedIn in the procurement spectrum in the USA, and well over a thousand on LinkedIn for Ireland. Personally, I find procurement a great field to be in. I really enjoy the vendor relationship side of the business and find the workload and tasks mentally challenging. If you want to comment below on what your concerns about the career path might be, or if you want future video suggestions, please do let me know and many thanks and I will see you in the next one.